Today we are looking at Typely AI. So this is a Typely AI review. I've reviewed about four of these AI writers on the channel before, the best ones being Writer and Peppertype, but those lifetime deals have run out. So I'm going to try and find a new good recommendation for 2022. I've got about eight of these to review. Typely AI is the next cab off the rank. So link in the description for um, $59 lifetime deal. You can write about 20,000 words a month on this deal as well. So pretty generous in terms of their word limit. So let's go ahead and look at this one in more detail. So let's have a look at the Typely interface here. So this is the main dashboard. Let's start making a new document here. First thing I'm going to do, give us a title. I'm going to call this blogging with WordPress in 2022, five things you should know. And the next step is to start the AI writer off. So we can press this plus button here and it gives me write some outlines for and there's lots of different things you can start off with so give me a list of examples of help me come up with a big idea about and so on so just give me a list of facts about wordpress for example so i'm going to put that in here now because we want this to be a list we need to go down and put number one here just to give the uh, the ai an idea that this is going to be a list so then let's go ahead and select this up and generate the ai content so this is what it's come up with. These are actually six facts here. And just looking at this, this all seems fairly accurate, actually. So around 30%. This has actually increased recently, I think 34. Definitely when you're using AI writers, check numbers and just fact check um, just for accuracy because they can come up with some really crazy numbers. This was actually pretty close, but I've seen some really weird results using AI writers. In the United States, WordPress is the most popular content management system with an estimated 30 million websites using WordPress. Okay, so this all looks pretty cool. And we might actually change this to six, given that it's given us six just for convenience. Okay, so we can go ahead and actually flesh out these dot points. And all we have to do to do that is just make a new line there, go ahead and highlight the text then go ahead and generate some more content. Let's see what it comes up with here. So our heading here was WordPress is open source software and was the first blocking software to be open source. I'm gonna change that actually to a um, H3 heading. So let's use it as a subheading. And then reading this, a lot of this is about WordPress being a big and popular rather than being about open source. So I think this first few paragraphs here are actually better under one of our other titles here. So we had one about uh, WordPress powers approximately 34% of all the websites on the internet. We can paste that in here. So today, WordPress is the most widely used blogging software. It powers over half of the web's blogs uh, and 34% of all websites. So let's put that in there. And just reading through for fact checking. This looks all good, but a lot of um, the blogging industry is built on WordPress, including high traffic blogs as WordPress.com and WordPress.org. I don't think those are good examples. You could use better examples. I'm sure you can think of a couple, maybe like TechCrunch and Yelp. So let's put those in. So I've just gone ahead and changed those examples. But yeah, um, again, with names and facts, numbers, just double check those and, and prove those where you can. But the actual flavor of the text is not too bad. So I'm gonna, again, I'm going to change that to a, a heading. Let's go up to our second dot point and see what we can come up with. So I'll make that number one. Here we go. Um, so don't need that in there. So number two, WordPress is dynamic CMS. Let's see what it gives us for this. This is a little bit more technical. So again, let's try and see what it comes up with. I think when things get more technical, it can get a little weird. So let's see what we get. So that first paragraph's not too bad, but then it goes on about talking about um, installing it on a Linux server. You're not going to learn how to do that from this blog. So I'm going to delete that. Uh, paragraph and again let's uh, let's move that back up to a heading uh, there we go and let's make that an h3 cool all right so again this second paragraph is not really relevant so i'm going to delete that as well so it does generate a little bit of irrelevant text and that will eat up some of your credits you do get a limited number of credits per month but so far it's it's, it's okay i think with less technical topics it's going to work okay wordpress is a little bit of a technical topic but if you're talking about food or pets or something i think this is going to be pretty decent but um, if you want to get really scientific or engineering type things it's probably not going to be very good so you need to um, be careful about choosing the right niche when you're writing with type the AI. So it's not going to really suit everyone, but I think um, as long as you keep it fairly general, the content it's generating is not too bad. So I might try and finish this off. I've only got these two to go, and I think five and six are so similar that I could probably just merge them together. So rather than having number six, let's just delete number six. And this is just about um, a million, 30 million websites using WordPress. So I think probably five. Go back to five. Um, anyway, let's go back to three here, and let's go ahead and... Um, I'm going to copy that. I noticed that it actually 
just continues on from what you've written. So I'm going to copy it and just click generate here. So we've still got our number three and it'll expand on this. So let's see what we get. So let's just simplify this heading a little bit here. I'm going to make that H3 and get rid of that blank line. So this looks all good. That looks all good. Again, it goes on about talking about the market share again. I'm not going to give you a quick tutorial. Again, this is, yeah, this is not great. This wasn't the best paragraph it's come up with, but again, it's not too bad. Let's go and see what we get for this one here. So here, the first couple sentences are okay, but the rest of it, it's kind of getting duplicating other ideas that's come up with elsewhere in the article. So I'm going to delete that part out, but this isn't too bad. Let's go here and make that H3. And I think that pretty much wraps it up. So I noticed again, it's just started to generate extra numbers here. So do I need this stuff here? There are lots of things to know about WordPress. For example, it's possible to create a blog, website, or e-commerce store. That's all. That stuff's all fine, but I don't need 0.6. Um, but anyway, there we go. We've got uh, our five things to know. So it's it's okay for ge creating general listicles like this one. But again, don't get too complex. Don't get too technical, and it will do okay um, if you keep your expectations reasonable. I think this content's not too bad. So this has taken me about five or 10 minutes to come up with around a 400 word article. So it's not too bad. I think people who can type fast and have good English skills can probably do that similar amount of workflow. But for those of you who are not um, that good at English, I think the flavor of the text is actually quite nice and quite readable. I think if you have good ideas and you want to put in some dot point ideas and flush them out into good quality writing, then this is decent, I think, for most topics. The other key feature in here was this... Um, text spinner so you can actually take text from other sources and spin it into unique content so let's see actually how well that works because a lot of people like to use this kind of feature to generate new content out of existing content so let's just take some text this is a elemental blog about wordpress and let's take a paragraph here and let's paste it in there we go actually i might paste it in as plain text that might be better there we go and then let's highlight this and let's spin it and see what we come up with. So looking at this, what it's come up with um, when it's been spun, I think it, a lot of the readability is gone because it's used adjectives that don't really fit. So if we were to compare that to what it was originally, I'll paste it back in here. So originally it says, yet yeah, the thing is when people think of WordPress, a lot of them still think it's only good for small to medium sized businesses. And the spun text is like this, yet the component is when people think of WordPress, a whole lot of them nonetheless think it's only desirable for small to medium sized enterprise websites or blogs. So it's uh, the words it's chosen don't really feel human. It just feels like it's um, it's robot generated. So this stuff, I wouldn't want to use this stuff on my blog at all. So I think the stuff that generates with AI is good, but the spinner, I think that needs to be updated and maybe use a bit of the um, the input from, from this method rather than using this spinner, because this is more of a an old school spinner that just changes words to synonyms and it doesn't it doesn't give very good output. But this is giving okay output as long as it isn't too technical. So overall, in terms of our conclusion, $59 for the lifetime deal. I think the value is there. It's getting three and a half stars on AppSumo. So I think that's about right. This is pretty decent, but it's um, not certainly not the best one that I've tried. Um, didn't give output as good as PepperType or Writer, but I think this output was, it was certainly a little bit better than what I got from AI SEO, which would go wildly off topic sometimes. But AI SEO had the benefit of having a very good spinner, like it could paraphrase really well. This text spinner really doesn't, um, it's really not up to scratch in terms of text spinning, but the AI wasn't too bad. I think for general writing, this isn't too bad, but I do want to try some other ones. I think this is, is it's average, but um, hopefully it improves in the future. You can go ahead and try the free trial as well. You can write about 800 words on the free trial if you wanted to test it out. But there's plenty of other ones that I'll put in the description as well that I'm going to look at later. So there's Word Hero, Content Forge, Flacked AI. They reached out to me actually and they said they've got a big update coming in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for Flacked AI. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I want to see how this one comes out because this has already got um, pretty good scores, but only five reviews. Thunder content. Um, I'm going to try that one out. There's ellipsis. It's a little bit more expensive and no review, so I'm not sure about that one. But Kateb is, I'm, I'm keen to try this one out. Um, only $29. Um, full marks so far. So I might um, try this one out next. But yeah, let me know how you're going with your AI writing experience in the comments. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.